Hello everyone, welcome back to Abandoned Mines of Pennsylvania. Um, today I got a rare opportunity to explore, uh, this was primarily a uranium mine. Uh, this was a strip mining operation, very small scale, operated for about 15 to 20 years. Um, see some of the low indents out through the woods, it's only about a 20 to 30 foot deep cut. Again, we're in the Catskill Formation. Um, see our exposed rock there, rocks everywhere. It seems, no matter where I put my Geiger counter, we're reading way above normal. Um, but our normal background should be about anywhere from 40 to 60 counts per minute. Now we're sitting at about 283. Now on the surface, a lot of these rocks um, don't particularly look special. Um, it is a lighter lighter shale, kind of amongst the, the red shales, you get this gray to bluish shale. And then here, you notice you do have some iron staining here. This is some malachite. Uh, it's pretty weathered down. This rock's been sitting on the surface for ooh, over 50 years. Uh, but this gives a kind of a good insight on how a lot of copper and uranium occurrences are in Pennsylvania. And so these occurrences form in lenses. And they kind of start, start small and they may open up, close back out. Now the size of that can be very small or in this case this trench is probably around 50 feet wide and winds around this ridge line here. Um, and in that, in this particular case, uh, this malachite, there's some other spots um, up here, uh, but it's on all the bed partings. When we take our Geiger counter to it, Get rid of the reflection there. About 3,000 counts per minute. Um, said this was uh, already mined. This was stuff that they deemed uh, non economical. Just kind of tossed to the side. Um, wasn't available to get any of the counts of what they had in here, uh, the actual material they were mining. Um, but I assume that it was a much higher higher grade than this. So if we kind of walk around, you can see in this phase how we get some different layers. Um, kind of already examined this. I couldn't see any visible mineral in that phase. It leads me to believe that what they're actually mining is deeper. Um, over here, I have some additional malachite staining on this rock here. Again, and when I say it's kind of laminated on these on these planes, if you could see on how a lot of this this shale has these horizontal lines on it, uh, that's where a lot of the malachite beds up. And as far as um, copper minerals in Pennsylvania. Um, we have malachite, it's probably the largest occurrence, um, but we also have azurite, um, some calcopyrite. Uh, like I said, there's a, there's a lot of other um, occurrences of other copper-bearing minerals, but usually in smaller quantities. Uh, malachite and azurite are our two biggest ones that I'm aware of. Now... Again, like I said before, the uranium mining in Pennsylvania really took place in uh, in Jim Thorpe area, and, and there is a few others. Um, and like I said, Sullivan and Lycoming counties. Um, as far as copper mining, um, Bradford, Sullivan, Lycoming counties, uh, as well as down near uh, the Cornwall mine, and then also. <laughs> Uh, a few other spots and 
southeastern Pennsylvania and uh, to the west of Gettysburg. Um, there was a lot of copper found up in those mountains there. I'm not uh, aware of what, to what extent they mine that, but again, this uh, this pit was was long abandoned. It's just kind of overgrown now, but said not many uh, not many examples of uranium mines left in Pennsylvania. So we're going to be doing, again, we're still doing other videos. Uh, we're going to get to other locations, cover um, cover more copper, more uranium, um, different ways that it occurs, uh, a little bit higher grade than what's left here. Uh, we'll be getting those out hopefully in the next uh, few weeks, the rest of the videos. So if anybody has any additional questions or anything they'd like to see in a future video, uh, please leave that in the comments, um, whether it be on YouTube or Facebook. And don't forget to, to like and share. Uh, the more we can get that done, the more we can get done. So I appreciate everyone for the support. Hope everyone's having a good day, and thank you.